So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. Oh, actor Woody Harrelson hosting SNL I mean, last weekend, and now there's controversy because of this anti-vaccine joke during his opening monologue. Variety Chief Correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister is here joining us now with reaction and more. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. So what exactly happened and what is the reaction to this? So as we just saw, Woody Harrelson, when he hosted SNL, it was his fifth time hosting, in his opening monologue, he went through this analogy about the craziest script that he's ever read. And it happened had to do with COVID. And he got a lot of backlash, also a lot of supporters, to be fair. But mm -hmm. this has definitely generated a lot of controversy. And also a lot of people saying, was this approved by SNL? Did he go off the cuff? But now he continues to generate controversy because he now has done an interview with the New York Times in which he continues to talk about COVID, not in an analogy, in a very much more pointed way, just saying that he thinks it's absurd. That's the word that he used that on movie sets and TV sets that there's still protocols that we have to follow. So he's doubling down on it now. Definitely doubling down. I am curious to know if they approved it or not. Yes, uh, I or will. if he just went rogue on that one. Yes, but with this New York Times interview, he isn't just talking about his seemingly anti-vax stance, but also saying that why do crew members have to wear masks? Why do they have to get tested more than me? As the actor, I can be tested less, but he said that he was really standing up for the crew crew and that he thinks that on indie films in particular, how are they going to be able to continue if these COVID protocols are being enforced on set? Because of course, while they are there to ensure safety, they do increase the budget by a large percentage. Striking chord with a lot of people. Yes. Okay, let's shift gears now. Let's talk about the Oscars and who's performing there. A rumor that Lady Gaga could be among the performers. So we are hoping and by we, I'm including you in this because who <laughs> doesn't want Lady Gaga to perform? Now she has not been confirmed she is nominated for best original song for her song in Top Gun but she's on set right now filming the Joker musical sequel that's why she wasn't at the Golden Globes earlier this year so people are waiting she's really the one that everybody is focusing on are we going to see Gaga but I just have to say we are going to see Rihanna. Rihanna is 100% confirmed, also nominated for her song in Black Panther. Of course, coming off of this massive Super Bowl halftime performance that she did. So I'm very excited to see Rihanna as well. She killed it at the Super Bowl she and that big reveal. It. Everyone's still talking about that right now. Yes. Uh, let's talk movie news, right? Because we're hearing about one of them that's getting an mm -hmm. earlier release date. We might have tipped it off in our tease over there. <laughs> yes, you did. And I heard that impression of Mario, which I love. So the super... Uh, Mario movie coming from Universal. Chris Pratt is voicing Mario and Anya Taylor-Joy is voicing Princess Peach. That is now being released just two days earlier. Doesn't seem like the biggest news, but news for fans of the franchise. It's now coming out on April 5th instead of April 7th. Obviously, this stands to be a huge box office performer, being that it's such a family-friendly movie. And they also just opened a theme park, Super Nintendo World, over at Universal kind of around the same time of the release of this film. I haven't, I don't remember hearing about a movie opening sooner than expected. Right. It, Do you? It, you know, it has happened, but it's definitely rare. You wonder what is the reasoning behind it, especially just two days. But I think even announcing it, now we're talking about it. More people know when it's coming out. And to have a movie come out on a Wednesday earlier than Friday, it kind of can up that box office weekend or first week potential. Do you think it's a marketing ploy or you think there's something else going on? Uh, I think it's probably a marketing ploy <laughs> and not just so much a marketing ploy, a way to get more dollars and cents because of course right now everybody is fighting to get people in theaters. Of course with streaming and after COVID, there's not much that really performs well in movie theaters. So I think even upping it by two days can increase that potential at the box office. Um, uh, my producer is telling me in my ear we have Peter Pan news. <laughs> we do have Peter Pan news. The producer is right. So Peter Pan, there's a live action film coming. It's going to start Jude Law as Captain Hook and Yara Shahidi as Tinkerbell. She will be the first black actor to be playing Tinkerbell. And this is coming to Disney Plus on April 28th. But fans are excited and talking about it now. We see some footage here. The trailer was just released yesterday and it has 
has the internet buzzing. Everybody is very excited to see this. I'm excited to see it too. I didn't know that that was a thing. Right. I know, it feels like with so much news all the time, people forget what has been announced, what's coming, and I'm excited for that one too. Yeah. All right. It's great to see you. you as too. always, with yes. all the all the news, all the info, and all the inside scoop. Thank you, Elizabeth Wagmeister. And for more information about Elizabeth and about variety, you can check it out by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.